What's up everyone? Welcome to another pickups video, a non-toy pickups. So this is going to be everything nerdy that's not toys, video games, comics, some collectibles, some other things, autographs, pretty cool. Um, so as always, I'll start with the video games in case you guys want to dip out because you don't care about anything else. But uh, some of this I can't remember if I showed already, but a lot of these were Christmas presents. This was one Christmas present. Present. This is one Christmas present. Um, this is Dark Pictures Anthology Little Hope. Another Christmas present. World War Z. Another Christmas present. Resident Evil 2. My fiance got me all these for Christmas. She got me also Watch Dogs Legion on PS5. And she got me Death Stranding. And she got me Borderlands 3, the Super Deluxe Edition, which comes with the Season Pass and all that stuff. It is a pretty cool steelbook, too. She spoiled me this Christmas. I'm not gonna lie. She spoiled me. Um, for myself, I got, like, gift cards and whatnot. And so I got myself this Immortals Phoenix Rising on PS5. And... I got my fiance this Assassin's Creed Valhalla for Christmas. Um, anything I get her, I get too, so I don't really mind buying games for her. I wouldn't anyways, just saying. Um, also, with some birthday slash Christmas money, I got Mafia Definitive Edition. Um, look out for a Let's Play of this, because I'm currently recording that. Um, I'm trying to see those are oh yeah also with that gift card with mafia i got resident evil 3 those are the two games i grabbed um i also had some coupons and stuff coupon coupon either way so now i have resident evil 2 and 3 the remakes um for my birthday the missus got me a few games she got me cadence of hyrule which, I don't know if I'd actually like this game. Uh, let me know if you like this game. I'm not really into, like, rhythm games. And so, I'm debating on just keeping this sealed just for the Zelda collection, but I don't know. She got me Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Rescue Team DX. Which, that's a remake of the uh, DS game. She got me Paper Mario and the Origami King. And Pikmin 3 Deluxe. Now, uh, oh, oh, and she got me Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity, and now, uh, my, my good friend Scott from, uh, Sega Blocks, he used to be Whittle Brutter, <laughs> sounds funny when you actually say it, he used to be Whittle Brutter on, fa on, well, Facebook too, but on YouTube, but now he's Sega Blocks, so all one word, go check him out, he does cool videos like this one. He's one of my OG friends on here. He gave a bunch of his friends a free copy of Demon Souls, and I really, really appreciate it. I almost bought this game on launch, and then I was like, no, I'll hold out, because the Souls games, they always kick my butt, but I still wanted it, and he reached out to me, and he sent me that, and I really do appreciate it. Thank you so much. Uh, you're a great dude. Go check him out. I'm going to put his link in the description. Um... I picked up Bully for the game of the month. I got the Xbox One, Xbox 360 version. So, weird thing about this one is I ordered it on Amazon. I had a gift card. I actually referred my fiance on Tax Act, which is like for taxes, and they gave me a $20 gift card, so I used it to get this. Um, and after I'd already ordered it, like free one day shipping, um, I noticed that it was the PAL version. Like, just the, it was just a stock photo, like, it wasn't an actual photo. And I was like, oh, crap, is the Xbox region free? And so I start looking through the um, the, the uh, questions and stuff, you know, on Amazon, the reviews. And everyone was saying, like, don't buy it. It doesn't work on your Xbox, this and that. And I was like, gosh, dang it. I got the PAL version, I think. And, like, they don't realize it's the PAL version. They just think it doesn't work because it's a 360 game. That's not the case. But, so I tried to cancel. It was too late. But when it came in the mail, it was the NT... NTSC version, so we are good. Uh, I got Disney 
Land Adventures in there right now because I'm playing Bully. But yeah, cool to have that. I was going to play the um, the PS4 version, but it's not the Scholarship Edition. It's just like a straight port of the PS2. And I like to play the definitive version of anything I'm playing. But anyways, um, I have a few games here that are from like Limited Run and I Am 8-Bit and stuff. So here is one Limited Run game, Dark Wood. And they always come with these cool cards, so I'll show that. Uh, got the cool card. Actually has a manual and stuff. Um, survival horror without jump scares. So I'm guessing it's going to be a like survival horror, but more atmospheric horror. You know, like a Silent Hill maybe. So that's cool. We also have uh, Never Ending Nightmares. I almost called it Ever Ending because I didn't realize the shadow was supposed to be an N. But uh, this is a survival horror as well. But it's based, it's a psychological horror based on the developer's struggle with mental illness. So that sounds really cool. And it came with a card and stuff. And I like the art style. It looks really creepy. I hate being followed in games. And as you can see on the cover, he's getting followed for sure. Um, as always, when it comes to limited run games or any kind of limited I am 8 bit, uh, red art, any of those. I only get the ones that I think I'm going to play, or if I think they are... If there's something I've already beaten, but, like, I love the game, so I want to get, you know, a physical copy. Like, I have Costume Quest back there. But uh, we have Panzer Dragoon from Limited Run. Um, at the time, this was the only physical edition, so I grabbed it. But then they put out a PS4 one, so I'm going to keep this one sealed and play the PS4 version. Because I like those trophies. Uh, this next one is from... I think it's, I want to say I got this from I Am 8-Bit, but I can't remember exactly. Um, it's CrossCode, which is an RPG, old school graphics, and it also came with a uh, cool on the inside. It's got a reversible cover if you want to see that. Nice reversible cover. Um, it also came with a cool steel book. So yeah, that's cool. Cuckoo, cuckoo. Um, oh, here's the card for Panzer Dragoon Remake. Limited run. I'll probably just stick that in one of the other limited run cases. That's what I always do. Shove them in the case. Um, from Limited Run, we have Neon City Riders. This is supposed to be a... I want to say like a Metroidvania... It's an action-adventure inspired in 80s sci-fi scene. So, I love 80s. I love all the 80s colors and stuff. So, that's going to be fun to dive into. And now we have the game I'm super excited to play. Um, apparently, this game is physical on Amazon. I thought this was going to be the only physical way to get it. But, it's just kind of a special edition. So, it's the Pathless. Um, I'm sure you guys might have heard about it. But, got it from I Am 8-Bit. Came with some cool stuff here. It has a poster and some postcards. And I'm weird and I like to keep my game receipts in the case as well. But yeah, the Pathless on PS5. Building up that PS5 collection pretty quickly. The next game here, I missed out on the pre-order for this. And I was like, I'm so mad because I like to get... If it's like a... Like a actual Nintendo published game and it has a, a limited edition on like 3DS or Switch or whatever. I like to get those just because they're only going to go up in price and they're just something cool to have in the collection. And you know, when it comes to collecting, once you start going, if you have like a pretty good collection, if something comes out, you kind of want to just add it to that collection. Um, but then I found out this didn't have a uh, actual physical game in it. It only had the code for the game. And that is... Uh, Fire Emblem, Shadow Dragon, and the Blade of Light. This is the 30th anniversary, like, limited edition of the, I want to say the first Fire Emblem game. Um, it's finally being translated, and they put it on the eShop. Is it called eShop anymore? The Switch Online. Um, I went ahead and bought it on there, too, because it was, like, $5, and then I'm going to keep this sealed. But this is really cool. It comes with a art book and, like, a straight-up like NES cart that's like see-through glass looking like plastic with uh it looks like a, it's like the shape of an NES cart it's really cool but yeah I had to add that to the collection 
I unfortunately had to go to eBay for it, but I did not pay the scalpers initially. I only paid an extra maybe $15, $20 for that. Probably 15 if you count taxes and stuff. So I don't mind paying an extra 15 because um, originally it was like double the price of when it came out. But anyways, okay, so that's all the games, but we have some game items now. Um, as you guys might remember, the uh, Super Mario 3D All-Stars came out recently, and I found out Best Buy had a little merch for that. So I got the little three coin set from there. Wasn't too expensive. It's pretty cool, though. I don't know. I didn't need this, but, you know, you want it, you get it. I don't know. Um, next thing's here. Uh, my buddy Iced Goose here on YouTube and on Twitch. He hasn't posted in a while, but he's Greg, if you know him from our Facebook group and stuff. Um, he got me a Christmas gift and a birthday gift. I can't remember which one of these is which. But this first one's really cool. This is something I've actually wanted for a really long time, and I just never pulled the trigger on it. But, so, Pokemon, he got the Pikachu tail. This is the eight gym badges from the first game. Is that cool or what? That is really cool. Yeah, I've, I've been wanting this for a long time. Not Maybe not that exact one, but, like, the badges. And this next thing is really cool. This is going to go on display in the man cave or maybe the office. It is a Deku shield from The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. And possibly Majora's Mask, I can't remember. But look at that. It's like a homemade, legit, wooden Deku shield. Or as some people might call it Deku, but I say Deku. But, but yeah. Pretty cool, 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 cool. Okay, so. The rest of this stuff is not game related, so if you are leaving now because this stuff isn't game related, I love you. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, everyone else, okay, the first thing here is Elf. Uh, this was on sale. I got it around Christmas, and it's one of my favorite Christmas movies, so I had to add that to the collection. Um, you guys you guys know those Facebook ads that pop up all the time? They just, they know what you like, they listen to you. Well, they knew I liked uh, Jingle All the Way from, from uh, you know, the Christmas movie Jingle All the Way with Arnold Schwarzenegger. So this popped up. It's a little pin of Turbo Man. Look at that. Oh, gosh. Turbo Man. But uh, it's really small, but that's okay, because all I had to pay was shipping. It was like free pin. You just pay shipping. So I paid like three bucks for this little pin. But it's cool. It's, uh, it's from only 90s kids. No, I think, dot com or something like that. They have a lot of cool pins, 90s pins. But yeah, love it. Uh, the next thing here, if you don't know me, I'm kind of weirdly obsessed with uh, Disneyland and like theme parks in general. Mostly Disneyland, Disney World, and Universal Studios. But uh, they are getting rid of the Splash Mountain. Or not getting rid of it, they're renaming it because, you know, that's based on like a racist movie and stuff. But anyways, they're changing it to Princess and the Frog. So I went on eBay and I got the... Uh, the whole set of the pennies. Oh, there's no way you can see that. But I got a whole set of the, you know, little push pennies from Disneyland. I don't know why. It's just one of those purchases you just do, and you're like, why did I do that? I don't know. Uh, we have a couple autographs here. The first one is Eddie Munster. Is that cool or what? <laughs> I'm obsessed with sitcoms, by the way, guys. Like, I love sitcoms, especially older ones. So it's cool to have Eddie Munster's autograph from the Munsters. <laughs> Fun fact, I actually uh, saw the Munsters' house at Universal Studios do doing their uh, backlot tour. Pretty cool. There's also Psycho and, like, that Housewives show. I forgot what it's called. Um, I also have this autograph. Have you guys seen Hocus Pocus, the uh, 90s Halloween movie? I have the bus driver, his autograph. Uh, it says, Corey, Bubble Bubble. I don't know if you guys remember him. He uh, he says, what are some fine ladies such as yourself doing out? Or something like that. Yeah. But yeah, that's cool. Got those two autographs. Now, my last two things here are comic books. Um, 
So it is the 25th anniversary of my favorite show of all time, Beast Wars. And with that, they're doing a comic series, IDW. So I have issue one here, two, two of the four covers. We have right there Optimus and Megatron. And then we have, I don't know who one of these characters is. I'm going to assume maybe Wolfang, I don't know. But they're done in the uh, Transformers animated uh, style. But yeah, those are cool. Um, I think that's it. Uh, looking around, I'm pretty sure that is all of my pickups. So be sure to like, comment, and subscribe and let me know like any of this stuff or if you have any questions about it. See you later.